this is the question of 2015 october november paper one two and the question number is uh, 38 it shows a uh, four terminal box here connected to a battery and two emitters here these are the two emitters the current in this emitter and this emitter are identical so we have to find which uh, setup which uh, setup or which circuit will give this result so if the emitter readings in this emitter and this emitter are same it means the current here current here let's write it as i this current and this current should be equal so if the current is to be equal they should be connected so these two emitters should be connected to each other whether there is a resistor or not but they should be in the same line of the charges so if i uh, use this connection connection of number one like this so we have the resistor here this is the resistor and we have this thing and we have this resistor here let's see what happens current will flow through here it will have some measurement but current will not through this fall will not flow through this uh, emitter because we have no source here we have no source here so it will be zero the reading here will be zero and it will have some reading so this setup is not correct or this setup will not give us the desired result now let's try the circuit of number b so this thing is identical this also same now the connection that we have to do is let me rub it here so i have rubbed it clean so three four should be connected here and one three also should be connected here now current will flow through try to flow through here but what we have is but what we have is uh, the current from here goes through this path this path and this path so current will be flowing through this path it will not go through this because there is an easy path over here and uh, and there will be no current in the emitter now the current here will be infinite because uh, there is almost no resistance along this path but here there is no flow of current because the, there is no source of emf here so this also is not going to give us the desired result now let's uh, uh, try the circuit of uh, number c here there is a brick here there's a brick here and there is a resistor here resistor here so let me turn it like this this is the resistor and there's a brick here there is connection here so here some current will flow through this resistor and some current will flow through this this emitter as well but what happens is but what happens here is uh, <coughs> the current here will be the sum of the current flowing through this resistor and this resistor current in this emitter will be the sum of current through this and this resistor so that's why this current should be greater than this current so the readings are not identical once again now if we go through the circuit of number four i'll rub it here so there's a connection here now there is only one way of the flow of current this emitter and this emitter are in the same line with no other way in between no chance of division of current so that's why the current here and here should be equal and the value of that current will be equal to the emf of this resistance so emfe divided by the value of this resistance so the choice should be choice number d